Hi, it's The Wire, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Also, money1776.com, a free site. This video should not be construed as investment advice. We're just talking about some ideas that I'm considering, other ideas I'm pursuing. Uh, just to understand my top priority right now is Bitcoin. Right, so a lot of these ideas I have tabled for times when there isn't a compelling investment opportunity, which is what I see in Bitcoin right now. So we're going to ignore crypto, even though I feel that's the most compelling investment on the board. I do have a Substack page, the wire 70905.substack.com, for those of you interested in crypto. Let's use this opportunity to talk about other investment ideas. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just give you my basic thesis on the world right now. Right? Um, interest rates are way too low. There is so much risk in the world when the United States has a $34 trillion debt. I simply don't understand how the 30-year can be below 4%. So uh, just understand, I view the world as risk-laden, not as a low interest rate environment. You think about the wars that are still ongoing. Israel's ongoing war with Hamas, the Ukraine's ongoing war with Russia. You think about the problems close to the Suez Canal involving the rebels, the Houthi rebels, and world trade, right? You understand that any kind of supply chain glitch can radically change prices. There is one group of products that I notice actually has the price jump that should, quite frankly, be rippling all through the economy. And that's food at the supermarket. You go to the supermarket, if you have for years, you know that prices right now are much higher, much higher than they were just three years ago. But yet, I'm supposed to believe with all this supply chain risk right with the Suez Canal quite frankly having problems understand if the Suez Canal is unavailable ships would have to go all the way around Africa to get to India and China well just understand right now and it's curious oil fossil fuels Energy is cheap. A barrel of oil barely costs $70 a barrel. It's astonishing. And I don't buy it. For speculators who are looking for deals, I want folks to focus on West Texas, southeastern New Mexico an area called the Permian Basin. The United States right now, thanks in part to fracking, uh, has a lot of, we'll call them oil equivalents, natural gas that's being collected from the Permian Basin. I believe there are compelling investment opportunities that the market right now doesn't realize. Among them is Exxon. Exxon recently purchased Pioneer Natural Resources, PXD, is the symbol for Pioneer, or was the symbol. The symbol for Exxon is XOM. Understand that that purchase has doubled Exxon's barrels of oil equivalent per day in that region to 1.3 million. I believe there are other bargains that originate from the Permian Basin, right? The Perm Rock Royalty Trust, the symbol is PRT, 
right, has a net profit interest, 80% net profit interest in a lot of energy producing properties in the Permian Basin. Also, Permian Resources Corporation, the symbol is PR. They're an independent oil and gas exploration company that is doing well in the Permian Basin. Let me also encourage people to look at Viper Energy. The symbol is V-N-O-M. Again, that's V-N-O-M. Right, natural gas is one of the emerging stories of this era. They also are doing well from the Permian Basin. People need to understand that any supply glitch, any jump in energy prices is going to affect many because you need energy to drive your internal combustion engine car. Right? You pull up to the gas pump and the price has jumped you're still going to have to buy that gas to drive your car. Understand, too, the risks involved right now in the world economy. If the Ukraine-Russian war lingers, right, you can have energy shocks. Israel and Hamas are located close to the Suez Canal, right? The Houthi rebels are motivated in part by the Israeli Hamas military dust-up. Who knows what direction that's going to take? Why are we pretending that the world is peaceful and that there are no supply shock risks in the energy market? I don't understand. So I'll be a contrarian here, simply because I believe that energy is indispensable, right? In part because I believe that fossil fuels will continue to be a very important part of our energy supply for a very long time. Let's shift gears. You know, AI is all the rage, and there are many AI companies out there. Very few of them are going to make it, as you know. There's a lot of legal uncertainty in the space. Media outlets are saying, hey, how could you include our copywritten content in the development of your large language model without our consent, without compensating us? Right, so folks, understand AI is going to make a lot of paupers, just like it's going to make a lot of people wealthy. Right, I can tell you that I use AI a lot more than I thought I would, including to summarize YouTube videos. Right? AI for me is an invaluable research tool. It saved me countless hours a day. Now I used to have assistants who would help me with research. Now I don't need them. Right, folks, AI is disruptive. It's going to save a lot of people a lot of money. It's also going to cost a lot of people a lot of jobs. Now, what I want people to realize is that semiconductors are a very important part of AI. Right, they help process the information that needs to be processed, and it's prodigious. Right to come up with AI search results, to come up with the computing power needed for AI-driven robots. So I'm bullish right now on Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. The symbol is TSM. Right, I'm extremely bullish on them. I'm also bullish on... ASML, a company that is in the production chain to produce semiconductors, right? Understand, lithography 
is an important part of producing semiconductors. ASML has a sizable part of that space. But understand, ASML has a very high price earnings ratio. It's not cheap, right? What I want folks to understand is in this space, the growth of AI is going to offset the current very high PE ratios for ASML. Now, let me point out that behind me are the words high risk. That's intentional. I need for people to understand that there is significant risk involved in what I'm looking at in terms of investments, right? Fossil fuels, politically, they're out of favor. Oil is down around just a smidge over $70 a barrel. In the world of AI, you have all these hotshot companies with AI in the title. Uh, they're telling you that they somehow are using AI in a more profitable way than everyone else. I'm just telling you that I'm looking at the semiconductor part of AI, right? You need to view AI as a production chain where different parts are indispensable to the ultimate AI product, right? I believe semiconductors, just like I believe the Permian Basin is essential to understanding energy production in the United States, I believe semiconductors, right? Taiwan Semiconductor, um, ASML, um, which is even earlier in the semiconduction production line, I believe these are essential parts of the AI ecosystem. You need to consider AI to be an ecosystem. You need to ask yourself what's going to survive, right? I believe the production of semiconductors is where you want to look. Finally, I believe more inflation will be upon us. Right? This is an election year, not just in the United States, but in places like Taiwan, for example. Right, A lot of countries across the globe are having elections in 2024. I believe that's going to lead to more intentional price distortion. Right, Folks, sooner or later, the market takes over. I'm expecting the return of a lot of inflation. I believe you want to protect yourself by having gold and silver, right? Gold's already over $2,000 an ounce. Folks, it's still too low, right? Understand too, if fiat currency starts to have problems and you're at the store and for whatever reason, you wrongly are ignoring or not considering using Bitcoin for everyday transactions, right? If you're at the store, you're not going to be carrying around gold coins because at 2000 greater than $2,000 an ounce, right? Gold coins aren't the best medium of exchange to buy eggs, to buy groceries. Rather, you're going to have a precious metal coin that is worth $24, $25. That's silver, right? I think in this environment, gold and silver are the precious metal equivalent of digital currency. You know, I feel the smart people will be using digital currency QR codes to seamlessly do transactions. If you're my generation, and you're hesitant on using digital money, right? If you don't believe in Bitcoin as digital gold, then use real gold and silver for your transactions, right? Just understand, I believe hard times are ahead. I see where Jamie Dimon recently talked about um, a return to the 1970s in terms of the financial climate. Well, I was a child of the 1970s. I remember being in a car with my dad 
on days when our license plate was allowed to buy gas, right? People don't remember the energy shocks that took place in the 1970s. Let's get ahead of the crowd here at a time when a barrel of oil is just over $70 a barrel. And let's be smart enough to buy good oil stocks and let's be smart enough to invest in gold and silver as we also take advantage of one of the big emerging markets of our time, the AI market, by focusing on semiconductors, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, and ASML, a lithography company operating in the space that ultimately leads to the production of semiconductors. Finally, let me just point out something that I've mentioned in this video. I talked about oil equivalents in talking about the Permian Basin, right? Just understand, you want to focus on oil equivalents. Don't get caught up in saying, well, natural gas is an oil and stuff like that. Look, the bottom line is the Permian Basin is a hotbed right now for energy production right? Liquefied natural gas, uh, oil. Your goal is to tap into the energy market, right? You do so with the plays I've mentioned. But understand too, the risk involved, right? I want everyone here to understand I'm not offering financial advice. I want everyone here in filtering through this information to rely on their own due diligence and further research. This is not investment advice. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.